Okay, so those are the basics. Now let's actually talk about the measures that you can use. So once you have your set of relevant documents, once you have your search engine, how do you measure if the results that you got are any good? So uh, hopefully this will be a review for many of them, so um, uh, I, I won't spend too much time, right? So this is our corpus. This is a sort of old documents that you have. Uh, these are the documents that your system has retrieved in response to the user's query. These are the documents that are actually relevant to the user. So this is your relevant set R. Right? The intersection is the true positives. So these are the documents that are relevant to the user, uh, relevant to the information need, and your system also found them. So um, uh, this is basically good. These are your accurately retrieved documents. You, you also make two types of errors, false positives. So these are documents that you retrieve that you shouldn't have retrieved. They're non-relevant, but your system included them in the set. False negatives are relevant documents that your system missed. Your system didn't return them to the user and it shouldn't have. And the true negatives are uh, documents that are not relevant and your system hasn't retrieved them. So you can look at it as a Venn diagram. You can also look at it as a contingency table where you have uh, relevant and retrieved as sort of two uh, yes, no uh, variables. And, and the, and the correct decisions are on the diagonal, the incorrect decisions are off the diagonal. <clears throat> so these are the basic building blocks, the true positives, false positives, false negatives, and the true negatives. And from these, we're going to build a bunch of uh, measures. So uh, precision, this is not average precision, which we had in course work one. We'll talk about what that is. But the basic precision is basically out of the retrieved set that you have, so out of the entire yellow set, what proportion of it was relevant to the information need. So it's the probability that the document is relevant, assuming that it was retrieved by your system. Right? And the way to define that is that's the number of true positives divided by the total size of the retrieved set. And that's true positives plus uh, the false positives. The intuition for precision is you're giving the user a set. How much junk are you giving them in that set? <clears throat> Recall is a counterpart of precision, and that is the proportion of relevant documents that you managed to find. So out of the entire green set, what percentage did we find? And that's the true positives divided by the size of the relevant set, true positives plus the false negatives. So that's the probability of retreat given relevant if you want to look at it probabilistically. Uh, and the intuition is, you know, how, how much of the good stuff did, did, did you miss? That's, that, that's what Recall is trying to measure. The critical thing about Recall and Precision is you, you never report just one of them. They're always reported in pairs. And the reason for that is it's very easy to, <clears throat> if you reported just one of them, it's very easy to make the nar number arbitrarily high. Right? So, uh, for example, if I wanted to have a Recall of 100%, I could just return the entire corpus to the user, right? If, 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 I return every, if I retrieve every document in response to every query, then I'm going to automatically have 100% recall. Uh, uh, of course, my precision is going to be abysmal because I'm going to be returning billions of useless documents. Uh, but if you just look at recall, uh, then recall would be 100%. That's why you never look at one of them. You always report, uh, uh, you always report them 